I got this upper gate with this frame here. Been in here probably 30 years. Anyway, this big old frame has fallen down. Years ago, they used to build what's called a rock chuck. That's right there. And it's built out of wood. They load it with uh, boulders and stuff. And what happens over time is they just simply fail. Uh, the wood, uh, you know, the uh, bugs get to it, the wood rots away, nails give way, starts falling over. And these big old uh, over road beams like this, they start to fail. Anyway, my little thing, I'm going to take that out of there and put in some good posts and uh, get the gate all straightened away. Then right over there, right where that big uh, rock truck is, I'm going to put a cattle guard just big enough for a quad to go through. Uh, main transportation in this country is quads. Cowboys, uh, and when they're working cows, they're up and down with quads. So I'm going to put a, a, a cattle guard there. Simply zip through. Don't have to mess with the gate. And uh, all the cattle in here are moved coming up this road towards me. So that gate will swing open and it will block that cattle guard. So when, uh, when the cowboys are shoving cows through here, they don't shove cows right into that cattle guard. They, the gate will kind of shut it down. Anyway, that's my project here for the next couple, two or three days is to get this thing all tore down. I'll tear it down after the gates move. Yeah, and get that all straightened away. Well, I got two of the new posts in. Uh, one right there and one right here. Uh, there's concrete in. Uh, I'm not gonna do the overhead thing like this old beam thing here because they just, they don't, they don't stay, they, they fail. So I'm just gonna use these posts. These are all uh, real, uh, telephone poles that I've got stored down below here. They, they, they work a little better than a railroad tie. They're full of crease, so they'll, they'll stay a long time. And that, uh, that cattle guard goes right there. And then I gotta build something up the hill here to keep the horses from getting around. But this is kind of how it's headed. Then I, I gotta build something going down the hill there uh, into the creek. So, there you go. I gotta get a post right in there uh right there about the center of the picture and uh so today i'm going to try to dig down through some of this rock slide these things are really ugly these things uh they get a little dangerous too but uh i don't think this one will slide but anyway i'm going to dig down through there and see if i can get a post in and then figure out what i'm going to do for up to about right there to keep the horses in Kind of ugly deal. Well, I dug down there and I got that post in there. That's pretty solid. Uh, once it got down in there, ways and this uh, basic rock slide stuff was gone and it was kind of a dirt rock mix. Then on the other side and down the hill, I have that post right there also in. So my little thing for today is to take this gate off of the hinge right there and I'm going to relocate the gate onto these posts. Uh, I got to tear this thing down here so I'm going to take the gate off, I'm going to move it to this post to probably get the top of these cut off, get it all trimmed up. Uh, once that's done then I'm going to try to tear this, uh, this uh, green post thing down somehow. Get a truck on it and give it a jerk probably. Anyway that's uh, kind of where I'm at today. Yeah, I got the gate moved back on these new posts right there the hinge side lat side Now my next thing is to tear all of that garbage right there down and Over here on this side the same thing and then pull Pull this thing down Hell it might just fall. I don't know But that's tomorrow. I'm done today Anyway, it's turning out pretty good We got that uh, uh, gate uh, headpiece all tore down uh, yesterday and uh, anyway what I'm working on today is I'm using the quad to stretch the wire coming up the hill there's a there is a rock chuck down the hill there you can see the post and uh, all this wire uh, it was really messed up boulders rolling down smashing anyway so I'm putting all this wire back I'm using the quad and the winch on the quad to uh, stretch that that, uh, that wire will all fasten on that post and then from this post to that post it'll get a uh, top cap and anyway just kind of a little entry thing 
So that's what's going on today. Rainy sucker. Been showering and raining all day. I don't know what's going on with this weather. Middle of June. Crap. Anyway, that's it for today. Yeah, I got those wires all pulled back tight now and fastened to that post right there. Then I, I just brought them across and fastened them there. Now I will build the uh, little picket fence that sits between those two posts right there. And then probably tomorrow or the next day I get after that, uh, that uh, uh, cattle guard over there and then the little fence that runs up the hill there. Coming along. Yeah, I got the west side of this gate done. Wires tight, uh, little fences in, poster trimmed off. Uh, worked about a half a day right there. This, that's where the cattle guard is going to go. And then from that post on the right, there will be something that runs up and dies into that rock slide. Uh, some of those rocks there are so big I can't move them. So I got a buddy coming through here with a hoe in a couple of days and uh, we'll get him out of the road. So that's kind of where I'm at. This thing is uh, starting to look pretty good. Cleans this gate up a lot. Anyway, I'm very happy with it. Getting my uh, gate scratched out here. This is the actual cattle guard that uh, goes up along the gate there. Just got done building this thing. Uh, it's four feet wide, uh, about five feet long. A horse could jump right over this thing if you wanted to, but uh, they generally choose not to. Now this thing is just wide enough for a quad to go through. Uh, those posts that I got up at that gate will fit pretty much tight to either side. There's a railroad tie that goes down that side and one goes down that side. So there's about 60 inches there uh, that'll end up being the opening up there. Uh, and just like I said, just enough room for a quad to get through. And uh, these little things work pretty good. Well, there's the finished deal right there. Uh, gate and the guard for the quad to get through. 
it's all done uh, maybe a little bit more grading uh, working in these rocks is a is really hard anyway uh, got this thing all done this guard here for the quad to go through I built uh, a couple days ago anyway now we can zip right through there with the quad don't have to worry about messing with the gate horses can't get out cows can't get in so I'm a happy guy and really happy the way this thing turned out <laughs>